Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra January 10, 2023. With today's transits, you see new layers of a situation, and you look at a matter or person from the past in a new way. The illumination of a relationship matter can be most significant with the Sun in alignment with retrograde Mercury, marking the middle of the Mercury retrograde cycle. You won't have all the facts or answers right now it's a process but this is a time for some helpful rethinking of matters. Seeing both sides of a situation helps round out your thinking, ultimately leading to better decisions. Counseling and advice can be in focus and helpful. There can be a meaningful conversation with a partner, or someone's feedback can make all the difference in your life today. Right now you should not forget that especially in a relationship nothing can be forced. Feelings are like a bouncing ball and if they collide, sparks will fly. Therefore, don't close your eyes from what is real and avoid frustrations. You better focus on your sweetheart and simply tell him or her every now and then how much you love them. Take a more passive approach to the conversation today especially when talking about your commitments or working relationships when the Sun in Capricorn conjuncts Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. The conjunction will likely bring something up that you may have wondered about but did not know until now. However, information will likely arise through miscommunication or even a Freudian slip. Keep whatever comes up in mind since it will be information to remember at a later date when you need to consider the nuances in the long-term trajectory of your professional arrangements. At the same time that Venus is spending her first weekend in your financial sector, the Moon returns for its first visit to your income sector for the year. While this might create some competition between the two sides of the financial fence, the Moon's friendly aspect to Jupiter for the first time since his return to your career sector is going to turn any financial tension into motivation. Today's planetary transit gives you license to drive in any direction you want. You may feel at the top of your game. Physical prowess flows through you. And yet, you may only wish you looked great. Are you feeling powerless over your body, your eating habits, your exercise regimen? start talking about it. Engage in conversation about exercise, engage in conversation about your issues around exercise. It will get you closer to it. You are human, just like everyone else. You will revel in the quiet nature of this day. A day like this offers you ample opportunity to complete many of the tasks that you have assumed. You probably don't have any social plans today, so you can feel free to work late tonight, or even plan on taking some work home. The atmosphere is likely to be introspective and pensive one that should suit your nature quite well. Make the most of this opportunity to do what you are most anxious about finishing. On the other side of past full moon in Cancer there may still be some personal or relationship tension but on both sides, this is already turning into motivation. It is the Sun and Mercury, the planet of communication in your relationship sector that is giving any issues this may have exposed a voice, while the moon's friendly aspect to both Neptune and the asteroid Juno is turning any tension into motivation. Especially when it comes to what this has awoken in terms of your personal needs, dreams or goals. Even before the moon leaves cancer and wraps up past full moon and before any personal or relationship tension has even had a chance to dial back, this is already turning into an advantage. The Sun and Mercury not only align in your relationship sector but with the planet of communication in retrograde motion, anything that was flushed out yesterday is finding its voice and especially unsaid words from the past. Our eyes in the sky. Mercury retrograde in Capricorn and Uranus retrograde in Taurus unite today. Contrary to popular belief, this planetary connection can bring clarity to matters and allow us to see situations from a different perspective. The world seems larger, clearer, and lovelier when we look at it from a million miles away with no judgment. If you have news to share, now is the time to express yourself. You will be heard and seen by those you love. You may feel unusually cross or ill-tempered during this time. Emotions loom large and seem practically unmanageable. Your body seems to have a mind of its own, cravings may feel too strong to push aside. 
This is perfectly natural. One useful herbal remedy for this feeling is chamomile tea. Chamomile is known as the baby remedy, for it soothes a cranky baby and restores balance after a fever. You may drink the tea or actually put tea bags in your bath. While a friendly aspect between Venus in your career sector and Mars in your income sector won't peak until tomorrow, they are already in harmony and at an important time for both. Venus is forging a path for the Sun to follow when he returns in 10 days and that includes connecting all the dots across the income, work and career fronts. With Mars slowing ahead of his direct turn in 4 days, as the planet of money Venus is the perfect planet to exploit both untapped income potential and to prepare for the turnaround ahead. While the moon is still two days away from its first visit to your romantic sector for the year, as it will then go on to make its first visit to your relationship sector for the year just a few days later, there are some important days coming up on both fronts. This makes today's clash between the Moon and Venus today and any work and life balance issues this might expose the right reminder at the right time. After sunup, the Leo Moon opposes Venus in Aquarius, stimulating insecurity. We feel distant from others, even if we are in a room full of people. Failing to achieve the validation we desire can cause us to showboat for attention. Naturally, this only further damages our self-confidence. The real issue now is not that others do not value us, it's that we do not value ourselves. Take the energy you would put into people-pleasing and invest it instead in the creative pursuits that bring you joy. If we make our own happiness, people will flock to us in order to be a part of it. Before noon, the moon sextals retrograde Mars in Gemini, helping us to cooperate with others. If we've chosen a creative pursuit to busy ourselves with during the Moon-Venus opposition, this influence will help us to sink into our passion project and achieve success in this venture. However, this aspect is not just about achieving accolades. It is about the internal gratification we attain for doing something that has merit to us. It is about being brave enough to see our efforts through despite the odds. The Moon's first visit to a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart for the year is both some light relief after the heaviness that the full moon of the last few days brought and a chance to put its work, life balance reminders into practice. This was a full moon that will always fall at some point during the sun's month-long visit to your career sector and it came when this new professional year was already getting off to a good start. Following on from that, Today's playful lunar vibes are another reminder that life can't be all work and no play. The moon's first visit to your romantic sector for the year has already got off to a good start thanks to its friendly aspect to Jupiter in Aries yesterday. The moon will also form the same aspect to the asteroid Eris, just as the warrior princess of the cosmos has come to a standstill in her final days in retrograde motion. This is highlighting the new and old doors that are open.